All right, my uh, Mega Squirt stuff came in today from DIY Auto Tune. Uh, see the Mega Squirt 2 chip, the board, uh, some connectors uh, came with it. There's the case there, extruded aluminum. Uh, got my rest of my workbench set up here. Got voltmeter, a um, couple of monitors, soldering iron, and here's all the parts it came with: uh, socket, map sensor. <clears throat> Uh, caps over there, diodes. It actually came with a female um, version of the harness, so I'm going to be putting that uh, wiring directly to the car from here. Save money on that harness, and that should do it. I'm going to put it together and test it out, hopefully. Alright, I finished up most of the passives. Uh, I have just the transistors left. It took about probably two and a half hours to get to here. Uh, so far, so good. Okay, I thought I'd uh, grab another video before I button everything up because I'm going to cover up a bunch of these transistors pretty soon. Uh, the board's probably 80% done. I still have the LEDs and popping in the actual uh, chip and a few other things uh, to button up. but. Essentially, I have made a heat sink that will go on to uh, this second layer here. And what that will do is give me a bunch more locations for new transistors. Um, it's not a 100% necessary step. Uh, what you can do is leave out uh, R38 and R37 here. The manual explains basically those are current limit resistors for uh, the injector circuits. So if you're running high impedance injectors, you're probably not going to overcurrent those, but it's always a good safety precaution. So if you really are opposed to making another heat sink, uh, you can get rid of these, short them out uh, on the board down here and have room for your extra uh, transistors here that you need for your mod kits or your second coil driver or whatever. So since I have um, essentially three transistors I need to add on top of this coil driver here in Q16, uh, I'm gonna run out of spots anyway. So I, for sure I wanted these guys, uh, so I left them in. And basically what's gonna go here, uh, got this BIP373 uh, IGBT ignition uh, coil driver. So it's gonna drive the stock coil, uh, be able to push a bunch of current through it and spark it just like uh, the factory computer was, so I don't have to get a separate igniter, or coil driver, or anything like that. So uh, that guy still needs to go on here, um, but since I'm running wasted spark uh, four cylinder, I actually have an additional mod kit that I bought from DIY Auto Tune. Uh, just another one of those and a uh, gate resistor in there as well. Uh, also, I have the PWM IAC. Uh, mod kit. <clears throat> Essentially the uh, version 3.0 which is a through-hole main board uh, does not have a big enough transistor by default to run a single wire uh, PWM IAC valve. Uh, it's intake air control valve. Um, if you have a four wire stepper one uh, you should be good I believe with the uh, stepper driver that's on the MS2 board. Um, if you do not have uh, a four wire and it's a single wire you've got to add a transistor. The one that goes here and I think it's it's Q4, it's Q20, one of these two here um, is just not powerful enough to do it. Those will if you're not using the single wire uh, F idle or fast idle output uh, you can use this uh, for a relay for cooling fans or whatever else you need a relay for essentially a programmable output. Um, the other uh, mod kit that I have is the uh, boost control mod kit. So it's another transistor to uh, run a PWM uh, three-way valve that's going to control the wastegate. So that's <clears throat> excuse me down the road a little bit. I'll do a video on that as well. Uh, so essentially I just need to bolt this up. I did. I left these uh, nylon screws in here for the ones that need insulated. Uh, there are two here, Q3 and Q11. Uh, that do not need any kind of special insulation and actually the grounding on the heat sink is uh, in contact with this metal pin here so it's actually good to use a metal one I believe um, 
and basically I've stood it off down here with a nut, kind of cheesy, but to make it fit height-wise in the case, I had to do that, so. Uh, so basically this guy's gonna go on, it's gonna leave a bunch of studs um, hanging out that I can use for additional transistors or uh, just to hold the heat sink on. Probably I only need to have uh, two or three up here, so. Uh, that should do it, basically. I'm gonna finish putting everything together, um, and that's about it.